Hello and welcome back to Spartan Student version 9. Today we're going to be going through tutorial number 3 which is on building organic molecules in 3D. So to get to that tutorial you'll want to click the activities menu then tutorials and then select this third link building organic molecules in 3D. It'll open a PDF for you. I already have that open in another window so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. First thing I'm going to do is click new build and you'll see it opens the organic model kit. So in this organic model kit we see a number of different hybridization states that are included for carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. We've also got hydrogen and our halogens on the right side here. Now if you click groups you'll see alkenal is selected. If you click this button you'll see a drop down menu with all of the groups available and you can select any of these and then double click on screen and it'll add that group. Alternatively if you click on an open valence it'll add that group to the open valence. The same is true for rings. We have benzene selected here but you can see a full list of the rings that are available, and the same holds true from groups to rings. You can double click. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to build today is acrylonitrile. So what I'm going to do is select the sp2 carbon and double click on screen. Just going to rotate this so we can see all three of the open valences. I'm going to click on this open double valence to make a double bond and then I'm going to click this sp carbon, the sp nitrogen, and add that to this triple valence. And we've built acrylonitrile. Okay, so the next one we're gonna build is cyclohexanone. I'm gonna close that, don't need to save it. Do a new build. And for this one, what I'm going to do is select rings and cyclohexane. I'm going to double click here. And then I'm going to select an sp2 carbon and double click on one of the sp3 carbons to replace it with an sp2 carbon. Then I'm going to select the sp2 oxygen and add that to the open double valence. And you'll see that we have built cyclohexanone. So next one is going to be limonene. And for limonene, what I'm going to do is also use cyclohexane as a starting point. Next, I'm going to click on groups and use this alkenyl group and click on the equatorial free valence of the carbon labeled four. So that's going to be here. Then I'm going to click on the make bond icon and make a bond between the axial free valences of the carbons labeled one and two in the image on your PDF. So I'm gonna click this valence, rotate and click that valence and you'll see we've made a double bond there. Lastly, I'm going to select the sp3 carbon and I'm going to add this on carbon one and on the free valence of the vinylic carbon attached to the ring. And there you'll see, populating in our database, we have built limonene. Next one is going to be nicotine. So what I'm going to do for nicotine is select benzene from the rings menu, double click on screen, then I'm going to select cyclopentane from the rings list and I'm going to click on this valence and then what I'm going to do is select the sp2 nitrogen double click on this carbon and I'm going to select the sp3 nitrogen rotate and double click this carbon and lastly, I'm going to select an sp3 carbon and add a methyl group here, and you'll see that we have built nicotine.
Okay, so that's going to do it for this tutorial. The next tutorial will be number four, which covers spectra properties and graphical models of organic molecules from our database, the Spartan Spectra and Properties database. We will see you then.